What's up everybody, it's Ihan Rogue here and we're back for another weekly challenge in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This one's called No More Red and it's tasking you with destroying 25 Spartan ships and 50 Spartan soldiers. Okay, now, um, this looks pretty easy, however, the difficulty of this challenge will depend on how your map looks. So, before I started doing this video, I changed the nation power over to Spartan here and then in Megaris also, and in the Abantis Islands. I went over there, I did the conquest battles, all that. So as you can see, all these nations are red. They're all Spartan controlled zones right here. Okay? All up through this area. Now, this is gonna accomplish two things for us. One, it's gonna put Spartan ships there, and it's gonna spawn part Spartan ships here, okay? We're not just gonna go looking for Spartan ships, we're gonna create them by making these um, nations um, Spartan. And then after that, when we go for our Spartan soldier kills, we're gonna be able to go to these kind of locations here, okay? Because all these nations will be Spartan controlled zones. So you'll have Spartan ships in the waters, and you'll have Spartan soldiers in the forts in these nations. Plenty of areas to go hunting for ships, and plenty of areas to go hunting for Spartan soldiers, okay? So if you can, change the nation power over to Sparta in all of these areas. Now, another thing that you'll probably notice is I have 24 out of 50 Spartan soldier kills already. That's because I actually got those kills during the conquest battles. Even though I was fighting for Sparta, or even though I was fighting for Sparta and against Athens, I was using a big old heavy axe, and the Spartan soldiers that I was fighting with got in the way, and I actually ended up inadvertently killing them as well, and it added to my kill count. So, big thing to point out there. Take down these nations and turn them into Spartan control. You should get some Spartan soldier kills while you're on those conquest battles. Now, as you can see, there's always going to be a cluster of ships over here. If the nation was Athens right here, then they would be Athenian boats. But because we changed the nation power over, they are now Spartan ships. And we're going to go ahead and get our first four ships right here. So, to basically recap that in short, check out your map as soon as you start this quest. Um, look in the upper portion of it, and if you can, change the nation power over to Spartan, so that the nation borders are red and controlled by Spartans. This is going to spawn ships in the waters around those nations, and it's also going to spawn Spartan soldiers in the forts that those nations uh, occupy. Okay? So those are your two objectives, They're your two main objectives before starting this quest. And what I usually do, like I said before, is I usually use a heavy bladed weapon when I'm in my conquest battles. Um, if you want to see how I do that, there's another video in my Assassin's Creed Odyssey playlist that's called Instant Poison Combo. If you want to see how I go about doing those conquest battles and getting those kills, you can check that video out after you're done here. And it'll show you exactly how I did all that. I got 24 out of 50 just from just from being in uh, the conquest battle. You might not get that many, you might get more. It just really depends on the battle. But usually, if you're trying to take over a nation and turn it into, uh, you know, from Athenian to Spartan, you're gonna have to fight a mercenary. So it really depends on the battle. It really depends on what's going on in that battle, in the conquest. So there we go, we got our first four, and I actually fast traveled over here to Macedonia 
and as you can see there's some pirate ships off there but I'll talk about that in just a minute so here we were over here by Fokis and Achaia and then I fast traveled up here to Macedonia Rock Ark and now here I am there's gonna be some uh, pirate ships here and we're gonna proceed through these waters and we're just gonna sail around the Abantis Islands that's where we're gonna find a whole bunch of Spartan ships we're just gonna sail around keep going around keep going around and we're gonna be looking for um, the Spartan ships that we need to take out as you can see I've got 7 out of 25 there were some other Spartan ships over there by Fokis where I was uh, where I was pr uh, previously at now normally when I do this I would recommend trying to avoid these pirate ships if you can I mean you don't have to you can go in and and take them out and reap their rewards if you want to um, I'm gonna have to take him on if I'm gonna get past this area but if you're trying to get this done quickly I would recommend trying to avoid the pirate ships in this area Another thing that I do when I get really close to ships like you just saw me do is there's not really any need to aim your spears. I've mentioned this in a previous video. Just push the button and let them fly. I mean, it's not like you're going to miss. If you're close to a ship, I rarely ever aim my spears. I just let them fly. And then if the, the ship starts to get off into a distance, I uh, that's when I use my arrows. So just another quick tip already though as you can see there's Spartan ships traveling all around these waters why because all of the nations around this area all these mountains that you see the borders are Spartan controlled areas okay so that's why we're seeing them here if they were Athenian then these these four ships in front of us right here would be Athenian now these ships right here aren't exactly in a group together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sail up to this ship and I'm gonna fire on it and I'm gonna try to keep as many of these ships in this battle I'm gonna try to lure them into the battle because when you're fighting ships you'll notice that some of them kinda take off and they don't really notice what's going on um, that you've just attacked a Spartan ship and so they just kind of keep going on in their merry way so if you want to maximize your kills what you want to do is you want to try to do this in such a fashion that you'd be able to draw as many of these Spartan ships into the battle as you possibly can while you know maintaining your damage onto the ship and watching um, the damage that they're inflicting on you it's a delicate balance. As you can see, there's more ships joining the fray. And so we've got more damage to inflict, obviously. And we've got more damage coming at us. So it's a delicate balance trying to do this, but it's it's a it's an awesome technique. It'll help you get your kill count up faster. And as you can see, we just sank that one. So we, we tried to get as many ships as we could into this battle. As you can see, these other guys over here came into it. And I know I'm being dealt a lot of damage here, guys. But did you see what just happened there? I just cleaved that ship and gained all my health back. Now... I've mentioned this in other videos before. Your um, lieutenants that you have on the ship, their abilities are crucial when it comes to naval combat. The two abilities, when, when you're looking for mercen or uh, not mercenaries, sorry, um, lieutenants, I, I actually have a couple of mercenaries recruited as lieutenants on my ship. But um, when you're looking to recruit lieutenants for your ship, the two most important um, abilities you can have are 
Um, I think it's 18% health increase or health regain when you cleave a ship. And I think I have like 24% uh, health regain when I sink a ship. Um, so those two abilities... I mean, you'll, you'll rule the seas if you have those two abilities, because every time you down a ship, you're going to gain some of your health back. So, like I said before, we're just going to sail around the Abantis Islands, come around here, but we're not going to go any further than this area here. And the reason why is because once you start getting down into here, you're going to start seeing Athenian boats. Okay, the reason why is because Attica and Athens are right there. So, like I said before, blue borders, blue boats. Red borders, red boats. Okay? And Attica is such a huge nation that um, if you start sailing down there, you're going to see those blue boats. So, like I said before, I just kept sailing around these waters. And in interest of keeping the video shorter, I, I didn't include all that footage, but I actually eventually uh, fast traveled back there and I started my route again. And so here we are. Coming up behind the Abantis Islands, we've got two ships that we're going to go after, and this is going to get us get it done for us. So... Like I said, if you don't want to travel around the map and actually search for these ships, changing the nation power around the waters where you're going to be hunting over to Sparta is going to be crucial, okay? I can't stress that enough. If you're not at the point in the game yet where you can actually successfully do that, then you're just going to have to contend with uh, searching the map for islands and nations that have Spartan ships and hopefully they'll be there. Um, it does give you a week to accomplish this this challenge, so if that's what you're faced with, if you don't have uh, the strength to to knock out some nations by, you know, trashing their crates, killing their nation leader, you know, all that good stuff, then you're going to have to just look for nations that have red borders and go there and sail around until you find them. But if you can change the nation power over and put all the boats in that area over to Sparta, that's going to be the fastest way for you to get this challenge done. Now, as you can see, um, we got a bounty hunter tracking us. But we're taking out a ton of ships. Okay? Like I said, there was uh, 25 ships that we had to take out. So, you're always going to collect um, drachme when you when you take down a ship if you, if you loot the water after you're done. So, don't be afraid to use your funds to clear off these bounties. You're not gonna. You're, you're probably gonna gain more uh, money than you started with just by taking down all these ships. So don't be afraid to use your funds to take the to, uh, bounty away. If you want to fight the mercenary ships, you can fight the mercenary ships if you want to. If you don't want to fight them, then like I said, use your funds, clear them out before they come in on you and you should be able to get this challenge done without any hang-ups or, or anything like that. So that was pretty quick. We just took him down. We finished uh, the Spartan uh, ship part of this challenge and now we're down to just the Spartan soldiers. So what I, like I said before, just go to the forts, the nations you just turned over to Sparta, or if you have to look for nations that are controlled by Sparta, go to the forts, go to any military controlled area, and uh, look for your, look for your Spartan soldiers. I'll give you a couple of, of examples right here. So in Megaris, 
You've got this port right here, kill captain. If it says kill captain or kill polymark, that's where you're gonna get <clears throat> your um, your soldier kills. Kill captain, kill polymark. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you out. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below and um, a like if you enjoyed it. And um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And Ion Rogue out.